Tonight on Big Brother, it's survival of the fittest. We start to survive, believe me, out of five. As tensions are mounting. So shut up. Let them think and have their own reaction. But who's really in the wrong? What did you do? Don't blame me. on the other one too. Yeah. Oh, this is a lie. Yeah, yeah. But, yes, Mel, are you we'll... going to help me do these animals later, huh? Melanie has told the other girls she doesn't find David attractive, but Vesna and Rita believe he has a crush on Melanie. Really if Dave that. comes, you'll come. Why would I come? <laughs> oh, no thanks. So, other way around. Mel, if you don't you like come, him, Dave do you? Come. Be honest with yourself. Do you like him? No. Really? Yes. He likes you so bad. He's everything opposite to what I'm attracted to. Same. But isn't that normally how it goes? Opposite no. Track? No. Not him. I yeah. just find him. I just find him sometimes. Oh God, is he here? I just find him sometimes, like. Like, he's out, quite, mate. yeah, he's so mateish and but quite his flirty. If you saw him, would you like him? It looks like? No. Nah. If you no. didn't talk, maybe. <laughs> no, in terms of, I just find him. He's a man's man, not yeah, a chick's guy. Yeah, and he's quite boisterous in his arrogance, and I don't like arrogance. I see one bit of arrogance and I go, eh. Um, when I was 16, yeah, I would have been attracted to it, but not anymore. Yeah. <gasps> he's just perving at you. He was just standing at the window looking through and checking you out. <laughs> Leah, can you make things up? I'm serious. All right. You watch, you will see what I mean one day. Okay. Feel that, Dave. Dream. He's got a good body, though. No, oh, shut up. It's gross. No, it's not. It's no. a good body for his height. Yeah, yeah. no, I don't. No. Isn't that a cute toned ass? His ass, look how toned his ass is. Yeah, but his stomach doesn't suit his arms. His arms are really toned his and his stomach, stomach doesn't isn't. His stomach doesn't suit his arms. Oh, I just want to Come on, give him some credit. He's got a good body. Even I don't say that very often. He does. Like, a guy that just walks around with his shirt off going, yeah, I'm so hot, that makes me sick. That's what I was attracted to up until a year ago. They had to have perfect bodies, no hair on their chest, and walk around without their top. And I used to love it. About a year ago, for some reason, out of the blue, what, no reason whatsoever. Can we all? Can we all? Before I'd be like, eh. can what we now? all try to talk one at a time? Is that possible? Yeah. Yes, Bessie. <laughs> Depends if you're going to get that pineapple off your head or not. <laughs> That's what Christy calls them, pineapples. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Melanie to the diary room. All other housemates to the table outside. Happy, happy. Oh my gosh, you guys love coffee, don't you? Thank you. Mm. Oh, no, yeah, I love coffee like I love All I've got to do is read this letter. Big Brother has given Melanie instructions for the new weekly task. Oh. <laughs> Picked it. You're going to love it. To help housemates further develop their survival skills, they are to form the Big Brother Brigade. In the brigade, housemates will master some survival basics from knot tying and fire sailing to raft building and map reading. This is going to be wicked. Housemates will be issued with their uniforms and instructions for their first skill they must master. Before then, housemates must decide collectively on the brigade motto. Housemates have five minutes to decide how much they will wager 50% or 100%. 100. I'm going to go 100. 100? I'm prepared to go 100 this week. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll go um, tell BB 100%. Yep. Yeah. Now, does everyone yeah, yeah, understand yeah, what our motto means? Timmy, would you like to explain what the motto means? Fire study. The task begins now! Oh, joking. Please don't let them be shorts. I don't want it to be shorts. Please don't. I bet you they're bloody shorts. Oh, my son is. Can you take them off? Sorry. Thanks, mate. Oh, man. Mal, are they shorts? Uh, <laughs> can I, I don't know, food? but I've been told. I don't know. Timmy's what I gonna. Know. Timmy. 
Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Self esteem. What's this Self thing? Confidence, life's yeah. dramatics. Christy, your napkin holder. No, Put a hold here. Doesn't matter. Ready? This doesn't Self work. Self esteem, self confidence, yeah. life's dramatics. What about we strive to survive? That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Who likes that? We're going to take a day to think of a motto. Okay. Come strive on. Strive to survive, BBF5. Okay, one, two, three. What is it? We strive. Can you hold my hand? Hold her hand. One, two, three. We strive to survive, BBF5. Coming up on Big Brother, there's a new rivalry in the house. I think Rita doesn't like me. She's a very, very spiteful person. I can see straight through it. To evict Melanie, dial 1902 555581 or SMS Melanie to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents, including GST. Calls from mobiles higher. Voting and SMS lines close at 8.15pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 24th of July. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. Big Brother has a surprise in store for this week's nominations announcement. This is Big Brother. Right. Housemates, you are all up for eviction. <laughs> Woo! However, However, on Friday night, Big Brother explained that the winner <laughs> of the Friday night games would be given a unique opportunity oh to save themselves from eviction. The twins have been given two boxes. Inside each is a card with either nominated or not nominated written on it. If they choose box A, they'll save themselves from nomination this week. You must choose a box now. Can we rock off? But you must not open the box until you're told to do so by Big Brother. So you have the key? No, no. On Sunday night. Which box do you choose? Choosing B. Say that everybody. Is... I don't get it. So I had a weird feeling. I had a weird feeling. Is that right? So only one of us go on Sunday. Might be two. Double. No, I reckon double. two. So we could only... save ourselves from a double here. Yeah. 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 You're joking. You're joking. Isn't it? Awesome? Don't I'll worry. Have to open this. No, I'm not worried. What happened if you I'm open it? <gasps> remember this. In true. Everything works out the way it does. I'm so cool to open this. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, I know. Always remember that, and you'll never be sorry. No, you'll I know that. I know. I'm just. I want to open it now. That's all I'm saying, right? I was watching. Something in there? He said it was ticking. I'm going to look, look after him with extreme care. Ah. Oh, we're all up, so. Great. Come on. How exciting! Kate. I think. I think Rita doesn't like me. It's sad because I do like Rita. I think that she's a really, really nice person. I do. So I'd be sad to think that she thought I didn't like her wholly and solely because that's not the case at all. And we probably have been very standoffish from each other. Like I can tell that she looks at me and is like, you know. I don't know, I just feel like she looks at me as if to say, I know you talk about me or I know this or I know that. And I don't know if that's my own guilty conscious or if I really feel that, but I do. She's just so, even today, just sitting on the couch telling Greg, you know, it's OK and it's positive and it's this and that. It's like, shut up. Let them think and have their own reaction. It's like she affects people's reactions because they can't act how they'd normally act because she's sitting there right in their face. So rather than see exactly how they feel about it, you can just see that they're irritated by her saying this and that. It's really annoying. Do you reckon Kate's spiteful? No. Why? Because she is. Why? She Why do you say that? She's very, 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 very spiteful But I don't even know what spiteful, spiteful really means. Um, she's... Bees, she gets them, tries to get a message across to everyone without being direct to them. See, I just don't see it like that. 
Yeah, because she's not like that towards you. She's like that to me every single day. Really? Yep. And I think she's a very, very spiteful person. I can see straight through it. And when she tries to manipulate other people to make them look bad, to make herself look good. And she'll she... say something directly to... She knows what fires up a person, so she'll say it directly to fire them up. Yeah. Then to make them look bad and her look good. So she's probably like that to you, but... No, 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 not I've... just me. I've seen it a lot. I never noticed. In my opinion. Yeah. I never noticed. Coming up next, it's time for the truth. Kate, wasn't that a bit selfish? Yeah, well, tell me that. To a Vic Rita, dial 1902 555 To a Vic Tim, dial 1902 555 Or SMS their names to 191010. The housemates have created their own version of a checkers game using the disco floor as a board. And some have been playing for the past two hours. Move that back one up. <laughs> Kate and David come to the diary room to ask for some items to be returned to relieve the boredom. Batteries for the massager and the ball that was hit over the compound wall last week. Where's the tennis ball? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Can I get a yes or no answer for this... Tennis ball, I sound like the most whingingest 13 year old wanting his tennis ball back from your school teacher. I mean, it sounds like you are. I am. Just say, no, I've dropped the tennis ball, then I'll get over it. Can I please get AA batteries? If you can return to the diary room with all of the checker pieces in the next 10 minutes. What, all the cups? Yeah, let's do it. Without telling your housemates. What for? What it's for, Big Brother will supply a tennis ball and batteries. <laughs> Come on. In exchange for the checker pieces, you must be back in the diary room in ten minutes. In ten minutes. I think move our back one up. Yeah, I've done. I've moved him. No, she's an idiot. Don't look at me like that. <sighs> oh, you're kidding. Aren't we allowed to play? Can't talk. What? Oh, they're going to take him all the way to the diary room. Why? There you go. Take the paddles for you, idiot. Just the pieces, you reckon? You're not serious, <laughs> are you? Yeah, it's a bit battle. You're moving from a spot, Kate. Sorry. No, we've lost the game now, but... No, I haven't. Stop playing. <laughs> Come in here and we're supposed to provide that behind something. something. They've cut some deal or done <laughs> something. They what have. have you done? You've done a deal. Hey, what's going on? I don't know why wrecking the game is funny. Big bar! <laughs> <laughs> well, will we get something back for him? No, I don't really know. Mate, don't I? How close are you to finishing? Close. Pretty close. How long have we been playing? God, you're mean, Kate. <laughs> Oh, well, it's a good game. It was a tie. <laughs> yeah, Mo, we didn't lose. What are they up to? I don't know. Fauna. We must be going to get something. Nah. What happened? Tell us your conversation in there. You can't come out and say nothing's happened because something has well, happened. Well, ask Dave then. Oh, Dave here. Hey, I don't know. So why did you take our fruit? I don't know. Why do you say... Well, you've obviously done a personal little challenge with him. Why did you go Taking in there? it and in exchange in for something place? better, I hopefully. don't know. You do. They, you know, you know but you just something. can't tell us. This is Big Brother. Kate, Logan David, to the diary room. Oh! Something must be going on because you wouldn't laugh at all. And if you did, then that would be just horrible. <laughs> you like? You're saying top lip. Oh, uh, it was her f tennis ball. <gasps> Is it? Oh, 
that. We can play cricket. Bloody personal task. Bloody. Are they traded something in for themselves? Oh, so the cricket's a good game, I must say. Yeah, we're, we're having a game straight away. Logan David. Big brother. Kate. Big brother. What's this? What's this for? <laughs> oh. There is the tennis ball you requested. Bloody Kate. Yeah, they <laughs> So what did you get? Batteries. I don't know. Double A's. <laughs> what did you get? You know what? In the back of the pocket. So how'd you go? Traded it in for that. I don't know. So, so Dave, did you know. guys go in there and say we want to do a trade, and then Big Brother said, okay, get the um, checkers. I can't so talk about it. Trade. Don't yeah, David. What did you do? Don't blame me. I walked in there and there's a tennis ball in the chair. He said, there you go. Don't so you think cool. it was a bit selfish interrupting our game, but? Don't know. So Kate, okay. what okay. do you think on this? Let's go and have a game then, eh? Kate, wasn't that a bit selfish? Yeah, let's go have a game. Let's go have a game of good old Thanks. cricket. Oh. What'd you do? Oh, it's a bit fresh. Is the, the cricket stumps up? Yeah, that's Jimbo. fair. Oh! Isn't it? You can say it to me if you got something. No, I just thought it was selfish and... Yeah, well, tell me that. If you were in my position, we're playing game, and then all of a sudden you come out laughing, blah, 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 taking all that stuff away. Wouldn't you think the same thing, Bart? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I did say would. Coming up on Big Brother, Kate lets the boys down. Extremely disappointed with you. <laughs> Extremely to evict Vesna, dial 1902 To evict Christy, dial 1902 55568. Or SMS their names to 191010. <laughs> Excited about the return of their tennis ball, Kate joins the boys in a late night game of cricket. That's a shot. It's a shot. Go for it. That's ten. That's, That's your right. last ball too. Don't hold back. Just get into it. It's all right, Jimbo. You, you're on ten. We can win yeah. this. You've got 20 balls left for you and Greg. So yeah. yeah. It's 20 Normally balls each. Bat up. <gasps> <gasps> very, very disappointed in you, Kate. Extremely disappointed with you. <laughs> Extremely. Oh. What do you got to give up, Kate? <laughs> <laughs> She's been. It's a boys' game. Kate, what are you doing? Going in the dining room. Why? What's that for? So f up. Kate, what? just go for less. What's going doing on? She's taking her personal item. She's no. doing a trade. She hit the tennis ball over the fence. Oh. Kate. Big brother. I was wanting to know if there was any way that I could get the tennis ball back and or a pack of three tennis balls. We didn't need it. We don't need it. What did you ask her to get us one? No, we did, did. Did we ask to go? I said go and ask for it back. She's doing it to prove a point, mate. She just feels bad because she. Oh, she she tried that in and she just. She knows it. how much I wanted a tennis ball. Thing is, I'm, I can't be angry at her unless I'm angry at him as well. You know, when, when you take a game off someone and you're just giggling and carrying on. And what have you brought to the diary room, Kate? Probably four of my most prized possessions in the house. My GI Joe that I won. And my three photos. Big Brother has already supplied housemates with one tennis ball this evening. Uh-huh. Big Brother is not here to act as a ball boy for housemates. Is there anything else? No. Nope. That is all. After having two of the games he was playing ruined earlier tonight, Tim decides to come up with new entertainment ideas. Why don't we walk around the entire inside of the compound and house with our eyes shut, touching every single the wall the whole time? Yeah, I'm doing that. Can we do it? Let's do it. That sounds like fun. Cool. What are you doing? Shutting our eyes and walking around the whole garden. That's just so exciting. You guys are going crazy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
This is careful. Like. Are you standing up to me? Yeah, just you gotta sort of gotta put your foot feet on the corner, like sort of just hanging over the edge. How'd you get down? Oh wait a minute, there's something in the way. <laughs> They're all crossing their eyes. They're walking through the garden blind. They close their eyes. Yeah. Pretending to be blind. Are you sure? I want to see what they're doing. Ranger Rita. Could be oh, for scouts. my bloody Could nails. Be. I'll go have a look. They'll come back in a wee. <laughs> Just hold it. Hold that thought. <laughs> How's my hair? Oh, my hair's great. <laughs> I look fantastic. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> What's here? Yeah. Oh, that. Oh! Okay, this is the other big corner, just here. Come on! Go <laughs> over it, Tim. My lamb! Just what's going on? Something's <laughs> wrong, wet! Oh, they've done, they're doing something stupid. Okay. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Did you go through that? Shh, I can hear water. Why'd you go? Well, no, we gotta get. Are we on the beach? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that on my foot? <laughs> That's it, Timmy. Are, are we stuff. on the beach? Yeah. That's we it. We are. Yeah. We're here. So, we've done it. We've done it. Woo! Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> Tomorrow night on Big Brother, Tim's Torment. I like you more than you like me. And that causes me some deep down, some frustration. To evict Kate, dial 1902-555563. To evict the Logans, dial 1902-555576. Or SMS their names to 191010. Maddie, this is juicy stuff. Oh, I love it. Almost as much as what Gritta wears. Take a fresh listen. The Matt and Joe Show, weekdays from 6 on 1019 The Fox. Next, The Simpsons Spooktacular. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.